Have you ever just sat around and you got so caught up in your thoughts and your ideas and you're writing things down and then time just kind of zips on by? <laughs> exactly 11 o'clock. So, so do not know me. Hello, my name is Audrey Codner. I am the founder of ACG Math Tutoring. Welcome to Two Tutors Talking. So unfortunately, I know it starts it, but you know what? As soon as the popularity hits, we're not going to see too many of these. Um, but unfortunately, we do not have another tutor to talk, but Mastermind Edition. So if a lot of you guys don't know, I am currently running a mastermind to help people who want to be tutors or who are already tutors and just wanted to better perfect their stylings. And we're going on to week four. Like week five is next, or we're on week four. We're like week five is like next week, obviously. And it's a six week course and people are striving. They're striving and flying high. So soon enough, not this coming week, but the following week, you're going to start seeing a lot of those members of the mastermind just basically sharing what they learn, sharing a little bit more about their businesses, and just seeing how they are flourishing. And they are. I mean, people that are starting to do things, starting to market themselves a little bit more, starting to reach out past their neighborhoods and just really reach out almost internationally for some of them. Um, one recently just got an interview and she was really nervous. And before she knew it, she has a new client at the rate that she wants it. And the parent was very pleased of how well she was very professional and how she broke everything down. I'm just happy for her, you know, and that's what I want to do. The reason why we have our two tutors talking is basically to share out. I want to share out what other tutors are. There's a lot of parents that will say, I need a tutor, and they just don't know where to go. So I want to be that person to kind of introduce you to not only math tutors, but also English tutors and then Spanish tutors or any language arts or psychiatry or um, there's also some economics people that are doing tutoring. Some are doing group tutoring with SATs and ACTs. I mean, you name it. If you have to learn it, there's a person that is an expert at that. So one of the things I would like for you to do, if you are watching this live or just hit hashtag live, if you're doing the replay, hit hashtag replay. And I know there are times that you just don't know what's happening. And some people always ask, well, Audrey, how can we find, if we don't find you, how would we find people before? Some people will go to Google, do a Google search. Some people will go to YouTube to see if there's any videos and just hope and pray, does that person also do tutoring to really give my child that one-to-one -one, or maybe even a group? Because, you know, some people have multiples in their families. Um, so you got like two kids or three kids that are in the same class. Two out of the three may know the material, but that third one, we love that third one, but that third one needs a little more attention. That's perfectly fine. So if anything, you can always pair up with another parent that you know. These two kids are in the same class. They have the same teacher. You can pair them up. And then most tutors actually have like a small group rate. So you're not paying that full one-to-one -one price. So some people will put it on their websites that they have group rates. Some people don't. So one suggestion that I can definitely give for parents is if there's something, just ask. One thing would be, are you qualified? How long have you been doing this for? What kind of success have you been having? Do you have like something based off of like a testimonial, maybe an audio testimonial or video testimonial of that student? How long did you have that student for until they started to see results? And then also, do you have a group rate? And if it is, what is your policies? 
So I know right now you're probably saying, well, orgy is the summer. No one's worried about tutoring right now. We're just trying to sit and chill and relax. But here's the thing. You should always have that in the back of your mind. If your child struggled like during the school year, what do you think is going to happen next year? It's not going to just all of a sudden disappear. I would love for that to happen. But sometimes we got to understand our students need the assistance. So here in my state, a lot of people started summer school on Monday. And it found it, for me, I found it kind of weird when I start seeing school buses. Like, we're actually having school buses for, not for camp, but to drop kids off for summer school. I was like, huh. But then I was thinking, duh, if a kid needs assistance to get to school during the year, why wouldn't there be assistance for them to go if they have to go to summer school? Why not have the same thing academically? Why not have, if a child needed assistance during the school year, so happened that they failed the class, don't you think they're going to need some kind of assistance during the summer? And one thing that I do mention, especially for summer school programs, parents, you have to be aware. Because summer school, when we went to summer school, if we did go to summer school, a lot of people didn't have to worry about, like you went in, you had the teacher, you stayed there for seven weeks, you might have learned something. It was most of the time it's a teacher you never had before. And then you just progressed. You just moved on, right? Nowadays, since the pandemic, it opened things up. A lot of people realize, wait, I don't have to pay for several teachers. All I have to do is pay for one program have that chick or sir get that program, have them work out the problems and submit their quizzes and assessments. Hey, on paper, it looks great. <laughs> but that's the only thing. On paper, it looks great. What about those kids that need additional assistance? They're not getting assistance during those times. Those programs that they have, one of them is named Alex. Let's try it. Let's put that out there. And it has multiple things going on just for one lesson. It's going to take kids weeks, if not months, to complete. So it's almost like you want to make sure your child gets it during the school year so they don't have to do what they like to call credit recovery. So there's always a great importance to have a tutor, not just to pass a class, but also to have someone be almost like the translator from the teacher to the student. Be able to break those concepts down that they'd be able to catch it, learn it, and apply it. So with all that being said, I basically saw, because I've learned from a lot of people, all the things that I really want people to know about tutoring how to market themselves, how to really talk to you as a parent, how to reach out and basically display their gift of education to you guys to help you alleviate that pain and triumph that you're going through in order to make it through. And we all know math has its own language, especially. So it always seems like all of a sudden it was just numbers, everyone was good. Then all of a sudden, those numbers have letters in it, and you're like, that's math too? And it just throws a lot of people off. So with that, that's what I'm doing with my mastermind, and I'm currently working on getting ready for the next one. I am so excited for that because I'm starting to get people, other tutors that have been tutoring for a while, they're just like, this is just not working. I'm hearing from other people that are in their current mastermind that they're getting success. Like they're starting to get students and I'm struggling to get students. So if that does sound like you, make sure you put in the comments, help me, <laughs> help me. Or, Hey, me definitely recognize me for a little bit. Okay. So if that is you, please don't hesitate. You know, go ahead, put it in the comments. Hi, Audrey, definitely want to talk to you about your mastermind, something of that sort. 
If you want to hit hashtag mastermind to make it short and sweet, you can do that as well. All right. So with that being said, let me move on to some of the events and some of the updates that I'm going through. So there are going to be, for me, there's going to be a couple of podcasts that's coming up. Um, I don't know. All of a sudden, I think people are starting to see some of these videos, which is great. But then that's one thing that you can do as a tutor and parents. This is what they do to look at some podcasts. There may be podcasts for understanding math or there may be podcasts for teachers. There may be podcasts for being a tutor. All those things are out there. That's one way that you can basically pull and see maybe you can get a tutor that you're kind of liking. Go to some of these podcasts. Now, I know I have a couple out there, but if you do, listen to some of the podcasts out there. I know I'm going to be in three of them. I got another podcast this afternoon. So I'm trying to be like the female version of Steve Harvey and just be in every way. <laughs> but when you listen to some of the podcasts, actually listen to what they're saying. See how they conduct themselves. Maybe even how they give examples of how they help a student with their process that can really help you to make that decision of, hey, I might have someone. So, oh, I know, one thing, you're currently in your mastermind and loving it. I know. My mastermind people are amazing. <laughs> They're killing it. I love it. Um, which I cannot wait. For the next couple of weeks, we're going to start introducing you guys to those people. Um, so... If anything, I know I can't see who it is, but that's okay. I know you're going to put it in there anyway. <laughs> so when I'm, and I know some people you can't make, see it, see me or see my banners, but I'm on, you know, this is a whole process here. It's like, I'm surprised that this camera is staying where it is. It's, it's being held by God right now. Trust me. It's a show. Um, But when you go on podcasts as a tutor, you know, give snippets of yourself. If you are a parent that's listening to podcasts, listen to how they respond to the questions and then keep your child in mind. Or maybe it's you that's going back to school and then you're just like, I think I like this person. I like that person's energy. I like how they answer the questions. They don't seem too stuffy or they seem professional or they seem like, I think we can vibe. And that's what you kind of want to get. You want to get someone that you can vibe with. So if you don't listen to three tutors talking <laughs> or two tutors talking or any of those other podcasts that's out there, that would be my suggestion to try to look at that. Because when you go and you look on, say, a Facebook post or an Instagram post or anything of the site, you have no idea who that person is. You're just dealing with words and you maybe got a stock photo here and there. Where's the personality? I want, because your child is not a stock photo. If so, that's cool. But if you're not, she's not, or he is not a stock photo. They have a personality. They have some form of understanding. They may not be wanting to be talked down to because I know most kids don't. But at the same time, that you want to have someone that's going to uplift your child and be able to take those concepts whatever the subject matter is, and just take it and run with it. That's the ultimate goal of learning. So don't think or sleep on podcasts. Plus, it's easy. You put your earbuds in. You can be on a walk, on a treadmill, maybe even have it in the car. You have those options. So besides podcasts, um, what else am I doing? I, I feel like I'm doing so much. I'm just starting to do my tutoring, and I know, let me say, upcoming events. Um, I know that for me, I'm starting to get a lot of my tutoring clients back, and a lot of people are generally doing that now because either we're trying to get ourselves ready for the school year, some people are nervous about going into the new school year, especially those transitional years. Um, seniors, they're excited. You know, remember, there's a spectrum between nervous and excitement, you know, fear and excitement. Fear doesn't even exist. 
but they're basically the same emotion. It's just how you perceive it. So sometimes you'll have an eighth grade child. They're like, okay, she's going into the ninth grade or he's going into the ninth grade. You're nervous as a wreck as a parent, but the kid's like, I can't wait. <laughs> Because you've already gone through high school. You know, like all the trials and tribulations of being a freshman, you know, walking like freshman. It's just all kinds of crazy. So unnecessary. So unnecessary. But my thing is, whatever happens is inevitable, you could try to kind of say, well, this is some things that might happen. But academically, it's always especially math there is a shift, okay? There's always some kind of shift because one, you're in a different building, you have a different teacher, so that means that's a different learning style. You know, before when you were in your middle school or your grade school, you had or you heard about these teachers before so you were able to prepare yourself. But now they're in a different school and you don't know them unless they went to a school that was similar to yours or the same as yours. But if it wasn't, you don't know what that teacher style is like. You don't know some of the policies because no one is not going to read the book and everyone knows what the book is. <laughs> that big, huge, thick welcome to the school and it's usually about this much and everything and everything under the sun is in there, that whole beginning of the school year guide. Yeah. No one's going to read that. Like for me, I used to have teachers that would write a syllabus for the kids in the beginning of the year. And they would do like a five page syllabus. Why are you doing that? Just do a brochure because parents are not going to read that. <laughs> They're not going to read the five. Well, this is how I'm like, no, you're, you're just wasting your time. But when they're making those transitional years, I'm coming back to my thought here. When they make those transitional years, you want to try to prepare them as best they can. So I'm talking about from third grade to fourth grade and even fourth grade to fifth grade, there's starting to be a huge flux because people saw how much the child struggled in fourth grade math. I don't know what's going on with fourth grade math, but it's almost like we're having the kids take multiple steps just to get to the same answer that you just solved like literally two seconds ago right? You know, and that's, I don't know why, but that's the way that they want it structured. And that's the way that they want to teach it. And that's how they're getting graded upon it. So if you're not familiar with the new math, get someone that is. Why do you strain your relationship with your child because of math? Like, seriously, it's not, it's not a trifecta. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> Okay. So when you really think about it, it's almost like doing the podcast, listening to the podcast, see how people are responding to it, but also take a look. And if you know friends of yours that are helping your child or, oh yeah, I had this teacher before. And after you like listen about the teacher and learning a little bit that learning style, and then you notice that, you know, your child is not going to be ready get a tutor. Trust me. There's plenty of tutors out there. Different. Um, they're not all the same price. They don't all have the same personalities. Just get a tutor and don't wait until Thanksgiving to want to do something. Because that's the one thing. Just like if you don't want anybody giving you a huge project at the last minute, don't do that to the tutor. <laughs> Because we're not miracle workers. We work hard for what we do and we can get results. But you're going to have to remember, it takes time to get that result. No one is a genius overnight. Sorry. I like to compare it to my weight loss. Like, I'm not going to be skinny tomorrow. No, it's going to be a progression. It's going to take me about a year, slowly doing it and just have that right mindset. We as tutors, we can help with that mindset. We can help with that organization. There's some tutors that will do that extra piece right here. <laughs> and then there are some tutors that knows how to break concepts. So with that being said, recap, again, 
be on the lookout for in my upcoming mastermind. If you really, if you are a tutor and you're listening to this and you're like, oh, this is great. And then just be on the next couple of weeks, not next week, but the following week, I'm going to start featuring members of this year's mastermind. And just so you know their story, because for me to sit here and tell you over and over again, what the great success they are, you're going to be like, okay, RJ, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Sadistic side eye. Um, and no, you're going to actually hear it from them. And soon enough, I'm going to have like a work, I'm working on my workshop just to help for people that are tutors that want to be a tutor, just hit on some things. So see if we kind of work and see if we jot together so I can help you improve on your tutoring business. But for my loving parents, please enjoy the summer. Enjoy the time. Do not stress. I always feel like say, don't stress, get a tutor. You know, it's just as simple as that. Um, because you want to get someone that's going to ease and kind of help build your relationship. No more sitting at the kitchen table. Why don't you have your multiplications down? No, to stop. Just let someone else kind of take that burden. All right. So again, this is another two tutors talking. And if you are a tutor or you are a oh, math person and you just want to find a home with other like-minded math people, come and join me on my Facebook group from the classroom to online tutoring, where I can give you guys suggestions and give you guys like some inspiration for you to keep moving. And lately. If I get any kind of person that's not my clientele, because I do secondary and up, um, I'm more than willing to share whatever I get because I want you to be successful. So keep on the lookout for that. Parents, keep enjoying the summer and we'll be seeing you guys around the same time next week. Take care, guys. Peace out.